All right, it's been a busy couple weeks with Thanksgiving and holiday shopping. Uh, luckily, I uh, had some good ideas for holiday shopping. And if you look up in the card, you can see my video where I talk about some of those ideas and give you some suggestions. But uh, I'm ready to get back in the woods and I'm ready to do some navigating. So this weekend, I'm going to be navigating to Kentucky's Big Daddy Trail. The Big Daddy. Or maybe I should call it the Big Turtle. You're probably wondering, scratching your head going, what does a turtle have to do with a Big Daddy Trail in Kentucky? Well, I'm about to give you a little history lesson and give you some information that you'll want to listen to. So, stand by and check it out. Alright guys, so welcome back. Like I told you, this weekend I'm getting ready to get back to uh, doing some hiking. And uh, I'm going to be going to what I would call Kentucky's Long Trail. Okay, now a minute ago I made a reference to Big Turtle. So you're probably wondering what, what in the world is Big Turtle. Well, I'm going to have to give you a little hi history lesson. Alright, so Big Turtle. You probably want me to explain this, so I'll go ahead and try my best. So sometime in the 1700s, late 1700s, an early pioneer named Daniel Boone traveled through the Cumberland Gap around the, uh, along the Wilderness Trail, come through the Cumberland Gap into Kentucky, and uh, just like me, he's like, wow, this place is beautiful. So Daniel Boone, uh, he did a lot of traveling in Kentucky, and eventually ended up coming right up the road for me to uh, Madison County, Kentucky, and established one of the first settlements in Kentucky, Fort Boonesboro. Okay, I think it was in 1775. So, uh, Daniel Boone, you know, during his travels here in Kentucky, at one point in time, he was actually captured, okay, by the Shawnee Indians. And uh, the Shawnee Indians, now they respected Daniel Boone. I mean, because he was... You know, he was a man, he was a frontier man. He was a man of the woods, okay? And they recognized that, okay? And he ended up getting adopted by Shawnee war chief named Blackfish, okay? Blackfish adopted him as his son, okay? And he gave him a nickname. His nickname was Sheltoe. You'll never guess what Sheltoe means. It means big turtle. It don't mean big trail, it means big turtle. So, uh, Big Turtle, so where that's where that name comes from. All right, now the trail I'm going to be walking on is called the Shelter We Trace. Okay, so it's named after Daniel Boone in a way. So, the Shelter We Trace. All right, so it's Kentucky's Long Trail. It's, uh, I think it's 343 miles right now uh, from start to finish. Uh, I've been doing a little research and sound like sounds like it's getting ready to be extended to 350. So I'll have to do a little bit more reading, but hey, 343 miles right now, that's a pretty good little uh, jaunt in the woods. So it runs uh, depending on where you start from, but it extends from northern Kentucky, okay, up in Rowan County, just north of Moorhead, the city of Moorhead. Okay, it kind of meanders through the Daniel Boone National Forest. It kind of takes a southwestern track, okay, if you're going north to south. Uh, goes through the Daniel Boone National Forest, makes its way through the Big South Fork Recreation Area, and it terminates uh, down in Scott County, Tennessee. This trail was the brainchild of a man named Vern Orndorf. Okay, he worked for the Forestry Department uh, for Kentucky, and uh, you know his big idea was is he wanted to establish a long footpath through Kentucky. You know, that was his thing, something he worked on. Well, in 1979, his dream uh, started becoming reality. I mean, they uh, the trail was established as a national recreation trail, okay, which was good. Federal government recognized it. And uh, 
you know, the trail not, was not the same then as it is now, okay? It's grown. And the main reason that it's grown is because of advocacy groups, okay? The main advocacy group is a group named the Shelter We Trace Association, okay? And they were established in 2007 by some like-minded uh, people who, who were interested in preserving the trail, promoting the trail, okay, and just, you know, uh, they formed a board of uh, directors, and with the help of their great leadership, and a lot of you great people out there that volunteer, uh, you know, this, this trail through Kentucky has become just a, a beautiful reality, and, you know, this group, if you Go to the web page. I'm going to have a link in the description where you can go and read up about them. Okay, they'll talk about their mission. Okay, they'll talk about the leave no trace behind principles. There's seven principles you need to follow when you're on the trail. Uh, and I'll list those here while I'm talking to you. Uh, you know, they also talk about volunteer opportunities, okay, to go out and help maintain the trail, preserve it, and extend it. Uh, they also give you a lot of helpful information, okay? You can order maps, okay? They've got notes, okay, that you can look at, tra trail notes, okay, journals. Uh, just a good place with a whole lot of good information. And they even have something called the Hiker Challenge where you can get to be a part of a group that will section hike the trail in a year's time. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and... They've got uh, resources, like you can get on there and find out information about shuttles and, you know, uh, hikes that may be planned and how you can volunteer. I mean, it's a real good web page. So, you know, I've sit here last couple weeks. I've had some videos where I've been sitting here talking to you, and you're probably tired of listening to me talking. You know, I'm tired of talking. I'm ready to get walking. I'm ready to get navigating. So this weekend, I will be starting my section hike of the shelter we trace. Okay, I don't have time to do a uh, through hike, unfortunately. But you know what? I'm going to knock it out anyway. And I'm going to start out this weekend. I'm going to hike what I'm going to say is section one. I'm going to start at the north terminus. I'm going to walk 12 miles down to Holly Fork Road. And that's going to be section one. And I've done some research on the same website that I told you about. If you look in the description, there's some good YouTube channels that I found. And uh, I'm planning it all out. And I'm going to take me a hike this year. A couple hikes. I'm going to navigate just like Daniel Boone. I'm going to hit them woods. And hopefully I don't get uh, trapped by any Shawnees or any, any Indians. But maybe I'll get me a cool nickname. I wonder what Indian is for outdoor navigator. Huh. I don't know. But, hey, maybe I can get me a nickname. So, look forward to uh, sharing that trip with you. That'll be coming up next week. Uh, guys, navigate outdoors. And thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Oh, God.